Just so you know, all of these videos are fair use. Take them and do what you want. Just don't forget to be awesome. So I just got back from my bike ride and uh, Premiere Pro started working. Well, I installed it again and and got that working up. Or got that working again. Was watching some of my videos and thought they were absolutely hilarious. Um, so I wanted to kind of address um, why I'm making these videos, and I think uh, let's see. I, I would like to think that I'm making these videos for all the people that got me to the. I'm speaking with my hands again. I I would like to. I would like to think that I'm making these videos for all the people who got me to the point where I am today. All the insanely awesome and cool and amazing people and the things that they did and all of my influences. But then again, I, I kind of think that I'm making these videos for the Yeti's kids. Um, uh, Michaela, Brandon, Alex, and Dylan. Um, because they're just, they're insanely awesome. Uh, and, and they're, I'm trying to get them into the YouTube thing because pretty much the only thing that they watch on YouTube is like Justin Bieber videos. And I'm like, what? Um, but then again, I, I, sometimes I think that I'm actually making these videos for Kelly and for and then sometimes I actually think that I'm making these videos for Kelly and for my mom because I don't think that I'm going to be living at home much longer. Um, and, and when I move, it's not going to be here in this town. I'm looking at myself again. Um, and, and then so I want them to feel like they're still connected to me and that I can still update them on things that I'm doing, like I'm still a part of their life because they really rely on me. I feel that they really uh, are reliant on me and my awesomeness. I appreciate that, I really do. Because that, that's what makes me awesome. Um, but no, why, why I'm really making these videos is I, I crack myself up. I, I don't really need TV or movies or other things to make me laugh. I, all I have to do is think. And if I do that, and I can record it, I, I can put it on the internet for other people to laugh at me too, or I can just record it for myself. You know, that, that's, that's really what it's all about. As long as I've made myself proud in making these videos, then that's all I really care about. Alright, alright. Now, now I'm going to go over to see the Yeti and her kids and hopefully get them to design a business card for me. Wish me luck. Okay, so here's how one of my average Fridays go. It looks something like this. At this point, I felt like a cinder block had been catapulted at my chest so I could really only respond. So after that I couldn't stop crying and my nose was running really bad. I'd like to put in what Dan meant to everyone here. And I will start by what he meant to me. Dan revolutionized the way I view everything. He inspired thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions, if not billions. I pulled all the clips off of YouTube that I could find of him and I made this. One of the things we do here at Dan Job Strategies is we do nightly mentor sessions. And that's where a group of traders will come in to the office here and simply look at the charts and everything that's going on and we trade together for a couple hours. It's a key role because 
you're actually side by side trading with other traders and with me. So somebody gets out of hand, we can fix it. Somebody asks, one person might ask a question that everybody's thinking, and 5, 10, 15 people can all get that. Plus on the webinar, somebody will ask a question, and I can answer it to hundreds of people. So one of the key ingredients is always being mentored by somebody better and somebody that has success under their belt. So you want to be there for part of that. Um, everything else is just simply tools. True in trading as it is in life. In case you didn't know him, he was all about foreign currency trading. He was always talking about things like how to fall into the zone of Forex and trade with as little effort emotionally as possible and maximum profits. We're also going to talk about attitude and knowledge and setting goals. I hope you have some goals. If you don't, you won't succeed in Forex. And then I've got one special chapter or one special segment or one special moment in the uh, seminar that will, it's simply called, Oh Crap, I Lost All My Money. How to come back from a devastating setback and how to not let it happen more than one time in your career. That's another great thing about him too. He was hilarious. He'd wait until like two in the morning when we were all groggy and tired from looking at screens and start telling jokes and he'd have just rooms of people laughing. He was pure awesome and the world is so much less without him. This is the latest video that I could find of him. And remember, do good things for your family and do good things for others. So I'm sitting here editing this video with these skull candy headphones that I got from Jordan, his son, and I'd just like to expand a bit on his spirit or his way of doing things or his dharma and say that uh, procrastina procrastination is very important like setting goals like the goal is to get to the door before you get to the door you have to walk halfway to the door before you walk halfway to the door you have to wake, walk halfway to the halfway point and so on repeating infinitely but if you didn't make that goal, you couldn't put it off in search of something else that you need to be doing. It, it's interesting how we're all connected somehow. I, I like to think of it as the weak electromagnetic force somehow interacting with our magnetosphere and keeping us all connected to one another plants and animals and everything and when someone dies that energy is just released and it flows into everyone that person influenced and I know it's probably not like that but I'm tired of pretending that death is a bad thing Death makes life important, amazing, and wonderful, and meaningful, and exciting, and a bunch of other words that I can't think of. That's about the only bad thing I can think about a democracy, is that the truly great people at the top suffer the most from fairness. I'm Dan Gobb, so obviously I approve of this message. So I think that's why I'm making these videos, to replace that awesome that was lost when we lost Dan Gobb. The internet, how do you know who to trust? Um, I'm sitting here on camera and you may not know me, but I can promise you this. Whoever's telling you about this or whoever showed this video to you probably knows me or knows about us. Do your homework on foreign exchange and come give us a try because I think long term it'll pay off. Not only will you be able to pay your bills, 
you'll be able to fulfill some of the dreams that you have in giving and helping others.